On the 30th of December 1851, the ground was bought for the Jewish cemetery by the community by Joseph Siksu, Moses Sakera, and Samuel Amram, who all lived in Faro. This cemetery is the only remaining vestige of first post-Inquisition Jewish presence in Portugal. Now this is a, the replica. It's a replica of a gravestone dated the 23rd of January 1315 and it was found very near where the cemetery is. It was in a military uh, compound. The original was in the walls of the cemetery, but it was taken away and taken to Tomar, where you'll find it today in, this, in the uh, museum there. And there are, on, there are only seven of these um, stones left since the Inquisition. Everything else was smashed and broken up. My husband and I started the rededication of this cemetery, as you see it today. When we first came here in June of 1992, we could see nothing. Everything was overgrown. There was nothing to be seen. It was just weeds. It eventually took out 30 tons of rubble was taken out of this place. The first burial was on the site in 1838 of the Rubinu Joseph Taladanu. He was the first burial here. Because it was the time when these people were, were the retronados, when they came back, the books of the Inquisition were still open, so it was very difficult to register anything. So the cemetery grounds were bought by three people. They, they all lived in, uh, in Faro. The people that were invited back to Portugal by the Marquis de Pombal after the great earthquake of 1755, he, re he asked the Jews to come back because the economy of the country was in such a bad way. And these people that are buried here are the people that came back and they made the economy far above what they, anybody thought. They came from Morocco and they came from Gibraltar. And because they had businesses back there, they could export. And uh, Samuel Amram, he, where the hospital is today, was his plantation of tobacco. He was the first person in the Algarve to plant tobacco. And uh, these were very good business people and brought the economy back to a very, very good standard. This, this is a, a memorial to Samuel Gacon. He did the first printing in Portugal. And there's the date, 1487, in Faro. And he printed the Pentateuch in his print shop in the old city of Faro. At the time, the, the, uh, the, the uh, Roman Catholic Church wouldn't allow any uh, printing. It, it was all done by hand with the scribes. But because it was in Hebrew and only Jews could read it, this was allowed. The original is in the British Museum. The 18 trees you see here were planted in memorial of Aristides de Sousa Mendes, the Portuguese consul in Bordeaux, 1942, the humanitarian that saved 30,000 lives with the help of Reverend Kruger. If you had papers to come to Portugal, which was neutral, you could leave Europe completely. Aristides de Sousa Mendes was told by the, the government of Portugal not to, to make any more of these travel visas. And because he didn't stop, he was demoted, he was taken away from uh, being the, um, in Bordeaux. And he actually, in, he died in poverty in the 50s. And between 1954 and 1988, nothing was said about this man. But today, we, we honor his what he did during that time, during those dark years in Europe. Inside the Tahara house, we have a little museum. We also have a place for people to make research if they want. And we have a little Judaica shop with, with some few things to sell. This is our son and daughter-in-law. This was the first Jewish chuppah in Portimao in 500 years. You cannot forget. You have to resurrect 
you have to clear. My husband did everything in his power to resurrect Judaism and to make this place a living memorial to people that came here after the great earthquake and such courage, such wonderful people. How could you not lay them to rest in a beautiful place and have it rededicated and to have it clean so people could visit and see what these people did. They are not our ancestry, but they are. <laughs>